What is that? That's uh, mid boil with our uh, three pubs lager. Uh, he has to be named. Um, lots of pills and malts. Uh, a little cracked wheat. Yep, it's wheat. Um, Vienna. Vienna. Vienna to give it color. Um, all mounted hops. We've done our first edition. The second edition is coming up soon. So, you are Ryan from the Latona. Yeah. Of course, Matt Lincoln, our head brewer. Uh, did you cook up this recipe yourself? Matt came up with it. Yeah, we kind of, well, we kind of had a little sit down, like Elliot and myself and Matt and Bob, and we kind of, you know, hashed it out, and this is kind of what we came up with. So. Somewhere between a Hellas lager and a Czech Pilsner. <laughs> exactly. It's a a Hellas mutation. lager and a Czech Pilsner, okay. Yeah. You do know that lagers are my favorite. Really? And did not know that. I just found out last night that you guys were doing this. So I'm very excited and I told Matt to tell you all to make a double batch. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> missed that one. <laughs> it should be about 11 barrels, 10 or 11 barrels, which yeah, is a pretty so, good amount of beer. Yeah, we should end up with about, you know, 18 kegs, hopefully. And so, um, just explain for the viewing audience why a lager is hard to make and why we don't do it all the time even though I love it? Uh, it just takes a lot longer to ferment than an ale. Uh, lager means to store in German and uh, the kind of yeast that you use for lagers um, work at cooler temperatures but also work a lot slower than ale yeast. So we'll ferment this at about 52 degrees uh, whereas an ale yeast would ferment at about 68 degrees or right around like 65 and 70 degrees, so it finishes a lot quicker. Um, the lager yeasts take a lot longer to work, and they have a much more, much more of a delicate flavor than an ale does. A lot less fruitiness, um, and a lot of that has to do with the cooler temperature. So you're not producing uh, a lot of the esters that would be found in a lot in, the, in an ale. Uh, so you end up with a much crisper, cleaner, uh, less fruity beer. Typically, um, have a little bit of sulfur as well, and then you also a lot more, a lot maltier, a lot maltier in a lager. Okay. A lot, less fruit, a little bit of sulfur, and a lot of malt, essentially. Okay. And Ryan, why did you want to do this? Are you a secret lager uh, lover? I love lagers, and uh, we make custom beers for the three pubs a lot, and uh, this is the first chance we've had to make a Pilsner or a lager. They sell great. People like to drink them. Summer's coming up, so time for lager drinking. Those that can't find Miller High Life at the Latona oh, will love a <laughs> lager. They will. They will. So when will it be ready and when will it be on tap? Uh, mid, mid to late June. I think about six weeks probably. All right. Great. And six where is weeks. it going to cook or ferment or do its thing? We'll start off candy. here. Well, we'll start off in this one, and then we're going to transfer it to the cold room for, for the lagering. In kegs? Uh, actually, we'll put it into a bright tank first. Okay. So we'll let it uh, lager in the bright tank for another four weeks, probably, and then we'll keg it up. Got it. All right. It's April 30th. We're looking forward to it. Excellent. Bye. Bye.